I've got here my uh, friction fit tiles. Uh, there's no glue needed. They just go together with friction. I've got four different shapes. I've got triangles, squares, rhombus, and regular pentagon. And using these shapes, except for the rhombus, I can uh, build each of the five platonic solids. The first one is the uh, tetrahedron. It's uh, four triangles. The uh, cube, six squares. You're probably familiar with it already. Octahedron is eight triangles. And the regular dodecahedron is made of 12 pentagons. And the icosahedron is uh, 20 equilateral triangles. The, uh, the rhombus is not used in any of the uh, platonic solids, but I've got a shape here that I can make with these real quick. These go together easy, so I'm going to show you how it goes together. The shape I'm going to make is, uh, it's got 12 sides, it's also a, a dodecahedron, but it's a, uh, a rhombic dodecahedron instead of regular. Oh, I'm putting it together backwards. Go that way with it. Don't hold it. Get this one on, it'll be stable. Okay. Just two more parts. And the last one goes in here. I've got three more of these. I'm going to put all these together. Um, there's not any tiles on the interior, and so where, the, where each of these join together, I have to take tiles off to. Uh, open up the joints so that they can connect. I'll do that by removing three tiles from each one. Helps to have good fingernails while you're Taking the first piece off of each one of these. Okay. Here's the first two. Next one goes right here. I'm putting this together to form a uh, be a, each one of these at each corner of a tetrahedron. Um, if I had more, I could make this at any any. And that's a tetrahedron, like this.
Now, that shape didn't have any tiles on the inside, but there is a way to do it where you do have tiles on the inside that provide support and uh, makes the structure stronger. And I'll make those with square tiles. I'll start by making triangular prisms. <laughs> My cat's playing. And I've got some more parts that are already made up, so this doesn't take so long. These will go together and form tetrahedrons. I don't know if you can see the tetrahedron in this or not. Um, if you put a plane across the flat end of each one of these legs, it'll be offsetting the faces of the tetrahedron like this. This would be a flat plane that would be situated like like that. And the tetrahedron is in the center of this. So from here, I'll add on another one that I already had made up on the side. And I've got another piece like this that I can combine the two. And they go together like that. Oops. Break it, Steve. <laughs> and I've got a another half that's shaped just like this that's going to go on top. But before I put that on, I'd like to point out <coughs> these four sides, you know, four of these openings and, and joints will line up with these four on this rhombic dodecahedron like this. And that's the shape of the interior. I would leave this piece in and put that around it, but it's just a little bit too big. So I've got to take it out. Now I'll put these two halves together. And the bigger the parts are, the more joints you got to line up. I think I've got them all here. And I call this a square ball. <laughs> it looks like Sputnik a satellite. It's made entirely of square tiles and there's uh, a total of 96 in this, in this uh, square ball. And I've got some other shapes that I'll show you that I've made. Uh, this one here uses uh, the rhombus and the square. It's actually this shape with a square inserted inside of each edge. There's four rhombus shapes like there is here with a square in between each one of them. And as this vertex point is expanded it opens up and I'll put a square in there too. And I've got this one. I thought it's neat because it's shaped like a like an ellipse instead of a sphere. It's got 50 parts, uh, squares, triangles, pentagons. Hello, Lisa. Look here. You want your orange mouse? You want that? <laughs> here you go. Come here. Go get it. Thank you. <laughs> this one's got the same parts as a, a regular dodecahedron. It's got 12 pentagons. And it's also got 20 triangles, like an icosahedron. I took this one and uh, inserted a square between you know, the pentagon and each of the triangles around it and it ends up like this. Pentagon, 
five triangles with squares in between. That makes it quite a bit larger. And I've got some others that I've made. This is a, it's a truncated uh, octahedron. Cube. It's got holes to go through the centers of each side. A truncated cube. I've got more pictures on my website uh, and I also sell these. So go to my website and take a look. Uh, StephenGarrison.com. That's in the description. And uh, I've got more pictures there. And uh, thank you for your time. Thanks for watching.